plaintiff, Tyler Smith Sr., says two weeks after he started dating the defendant, they moved in together and they eventually got engaged. Tyler claims he soon discovered the defendant was a violent drunk and she was arrested after she assaulted him. He's suing her for a down payment on a home. Defendant Sabrina Ault says when she met Tyler, he was on parole for a possession and burglary charge, but she thought he could make something of himself. Sabrina admits that she injured Tyler during an argument and she's countersuing for lot rent and the cost of jewelry. Start with you. Sir, Sabrina and I met in about June of 2005. Uh, we quickly fell in love. Uh, like, I think maybe two to three weeks later, I moved into her apartment, which is way too fast, but that's what we did. How did things go during the well course of the relationship? It went well for a while. Uh, we got engaged in 2006. Um, moved in two weeks after you met. Yes, sir. Then you got engaged one year about later. About a year later, yes, sir. And when did things turn sour? I really can't pick a time, but it seemed at least a year or so after that. After probably the engagement or after, after meeting? After the engagement, yes. Okay. Uh, about 2007 or so, 2008. Okay, so, but two weeks bought you two years. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. A lot of folks, for most part, two weeks only get a person two months. I hear that. When they I come in that. here. Well, she it was It turns very... out that the guy was a crackhead and she never knew it. Because <laughs> she only knew him two weeks. <laughs> And she he was, said, I'm going to spend the night over my mother's house because my mother needs help getting around. And he'd stay for three days and her things end up missing. Have you seen my things? No, I haven't seen it. You know, I haven't been here. I've been at my mother's house for three days. He <laughs> does that about six times. So in the end of three months, she figures it out. Oh, he's a crackhead. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't move the crackhead in for two weeks. I didn't know anything about him. I should I should have known something before I moved him in. Go ahead, but two weeks got you two years. You did pretty good. Yes, sir. All right, she wasn't a crackhead. She no, was, she turned was out to be all right. Far, far from that. <laughs> she, she turned was, out to be all right. Yeah, she was Go actually ahead. very sweet, uh, sexy, smart. When I met her, everything was, you know, everything was gravy. Um, but like I said, later on things changed. Uh, I started to notice that she drank a lot. She okay, <laughs> she wasn't a crackhead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so what a crack here, you discover she was an alcoholic, huh? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to label, but All yeah, right. she drank a lot. Go um ahead. she a couple times got violent while she was drinking. How um, long did it take for you to see that? I can't pinpoint it, but okay. I'd say a she went years. a couple years before. Yeah. That means you drove her to drinking. If she wasn't drinking already, <laughs> If it took her two years to start drinking heavily, that means you drove her to drink it. Am I right or wrong, man? You're right, you're right. <laughs> See that? See, you know. Anyway, she became, you know, irrational sometimes and downright mean. A um, couple examples, I mean, she busted a countertop with a frying pan. Uh, she put holes in a couple doors. Um, uh, you put the holes in the doors? No. You put I'll give you a chance. What year did that occur? Uh, this was prior to, let's see, it would have been like 2008. Eight, okay. Something like that, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and then the very last fight that we had that actually kind of ended our relationship uh, was in October of 2010. Um, and she ultimately ended up getting arrested because she had been drinking like all day. Uh, and she like got physical with me. She was like charging me, uh, you know, like running at me, uh, kicking me, punching me, scratching me, uh, ultimately choking me, which is what prompted the phone call to the police by our roommate. I have the police report. I have everything if you want to see that yeah, as far as that it. goes. Did you prosecute? I didn't want to prosecute. That's all of it, I think, yeah. I didn't want to prosecute because I still loved her and cared about her, and I thought maybe if she just got some counseling or some AODA or something like that, that it would, it would work itself out. Um, I started to make fun because she's a little larger than you, but I said, no, this isn't, this isn't anything to make fun of. As just as uh, ladies are victims, you have uh, injuries here. Um, yeah. I'm glad I didn't make fun of it. There's nothing funny about this.
You all broke up at that time? We broke up. All right. And um, I, you know, at that time tried to make arrangements to either sell the house or okay, her before buy we me get out. to the before we get okay. to the assets and the sure. down payment you're suing her for, let me allow her to give some background, ma'am. I will give you some background on Tyler. When I did meet him, he was on parole. <laughs> um, he had a uh, possession charge from 2000, and he also had a burglary charge from 2001. He was sentenced to 10 years for those charges, no, and he I did serve know. four. So seven. Pardon me. I was sentenced seven, not okay. not not 10. It was seven for the burglary and three for the gotcha. possession. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so you know, I gave him a chance, and um, he's extremely intelligent. I knew he could make something of himself, and mm -hmm. I saw that in him. And what him. happened? And, did he? Um, kind of. Yes, he did put, um, he did go through school and graduated hotel restaurant management. Throughout our relationship, he had a few jobs here and there, but never for very long. Um, his real Why do you think that was? Um, he's got a bad temper. Okay. And, um. Might have been because of my surgeries, right? Your surgeries caused what? I had severe back surgeries. So that caused you to just be off? Yes. Gotcha. Go okay, ahead. He now. had surgeries in 2006, but mm -hmm. I've known him from 2005 mm -hmm. to 2000 and current, and he's always had a temper. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just the surgeries. Did that have him fired from any job? Many. Okay. Uh, I believe all just right. about all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when did things go wrong with the two of you? Because obviously you knew all this, you accepted all this, yes. and it was all fine. So let's yes, find yeah, out when yeah. things went wrong. Um, it wasn't long after we bought the house. Um, we were engaged. He wanted to start a family. We fought a lot. He says you started yes. in 08. When do you say you started? Um, I would say about then, maybe 2007. Okay, good. That's what I'm trying to get to. All right. Yeah. So 08, you all start fighting. And the things mm -hmm. he said, are they true or not? Physically, no. Just okay. verbally. Verbally, you were yes. fighting since 08. And then 10, there was a violent altercation? Yes. As he described? No. Well, were you um, convicted of anything? I was, yes. Um, Why were you convicted if it wasn't as he described? Because I was defending myself. No, did you tell the other judge that? Yes. All right, and they didn't believe it, obviously, right? Right. Right. All right. right. So we're gonna oh, move yeah, on. Oh yeah, I admit that. that I, I, I believe heard the, him. the other judge might be just as smart as me. All right. So that's okay. why you all broke up. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Good enough, sir. You want to tell me about the down payment you're suing for? Yes, sir. Um, I spent. You all purchased something. Tell me yes, the background. Yes, we bought a mobile home. When? First, well, I did. When? I'm sorry. 2009. I, I'm sorry about that. It was either June or July. Yeah, it was June. What was the agreement on it? Uh, the agreement was, I didn't want to live in an apartment anymore, neither did she. She gave her notice. Paying bought, payment the on house. the mobile home. Oh, my bad. Um, right here. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. It must be the blonde, the blonde thing. All right, I've got two checks here. I wrote out $6,000 for a down payment toward the home and that was 16 What was five. the agreement on payment and ownership? <clears throat> the agreement was that she was going to pay the lot rent, I was going to pay the mortgage. How much That's was the lie. lot rent to be? The lot the, the lot rent was around 363 363 or something like that. she was to pay the lot rent per month. Yes. And the mortgage was how much? It was much? only 200. And that's what you were to pay yes. in addition to your down payment of what? $6,000 I put into the All right. Was payment. there any agreement for her to pay a portion of the 6000? Um, we were getting married. We were So the answer is no. There was no agreement regarding no. her paying toward the 6000. No, we did not make any Good agreement enough. up. What happened? Well, she's deprived me of the home since January of 2011. Tell me how that has happened. Because since the incident happened with the police mm -hmm. on the October incident, and around January, she came back to the house, which I, of course, allowed. I never changed the locks or said she couldn't. Mm -hmm. And then we decided we cannot live together, obviously. We were actually in a situation where the management company that runs the lot rent mm -hmm. and the land told us, due to the incident and other things that were going on, we either both were going to get evicted or one of us had to leave. 
I was trying to be a gentleman and I left. So I left the house, but not abandoned it. And I made that clear. I want my money back or I want to sell the house because then we'll make money. We'll be able to pay your sister back. I'll get my money back and we'll split the difference of whatever we make. Her sister, how does her sister yeah, come Yeah, her sister play? is the lien holder on our title of the gotcha. home because she's and the one. And the total amount of the value of yes, the home sir. was what? 16.5 is what we okay. only paid. All right. What is her response then? <laughs> she doesn't ever give me a response. She says, I owe her and I need to, you know, just let her keep the house and take my name off the house. And okay. I'm like, what? No. So the $5,000 you are suing for is based on the $6,000 yes. payment? Yes. That's it? That's down all payment? I'm asking back from her. It's for your down payment That's all back. I want, so I can get my name off the house and move on. Let me hear from you. Okay. Um, first of all, he lied about the agreement we had for the rent and mortgage. We never had an agreement. We were both supposed to pay on the rent and the mortgage. Your Honor, um, I have a document. Hold on, that, that is an agreement, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what we agreed agreement. that we were going to pay half the rent and half the mortgage each. So that's an agreement. Yes, but not as Ooh. he says. What? <laughs> the agreement was half and half. Is that what you're telling me, man? Yes. Lord have mercy, this is a tough case. <laughs> half and half. What about the down payment? Uh, well, we never had an agreement on that I was ever supposed to pay him back for that. Okay. Um, he owed me money prior to us even moving in when we lived at the apartment. Is that part of your counterclaim? Or... No. And then he still does owe me while we lived at the apartment, which is what my claim is for. For what? For. Okay, for well, we're going to deal the... with the counterclaim, yeah. but I'm trying to understand what you believe is fair or you believe the law is regarding the status of the trailer now. What is the status? It is not paid off. I, we still own my And who my has sister. possession? You? I do, yes. I live all in All right. It. And have you all discussed the future uh, of this trailer, whether you were going to sell it um, or you were just going to keep it and keep his money? What is your intention? Exactly. Well, I wanted to stay. You going to keep the exactly. trailer and his money? Yep. I wanted to stay in the trailer because we... Had... All right. Keep the trailer, yes. keep his money. That's what you wanted to do. That's yes. Huh? Yes. All right. Good enough. Your counterclaim for oh. 4870 You I'm tell sorry. me what you want to do. I'm getting to your counterclaim. We're done with what he's suing you about. Now, let's get to the counterclaim of the lot, rent, and the jewelry. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had an agreement that we would each split the lot payment mm -hmm. and the payments to my sister. Um, I have a letter Tell here. Tell me what he failed to pay in lot rent. Okay, in lot, he never paid the lot rent. Never paid anything? Exactly. He never paid his half? No. 363 is what, divided by two? Uh, it is... Uh... One? 181.50. All right, 181.50 is what he was to pay every month on the lot rent, and he never did, you say. Yes. And how many months was that? 17 months. 181.50 times 17. <coughs> 3,085. And how does he owe you for the jewelry? Um, again, to um, our uh, my engagement ring and his wedding ring and their wedding bands, we were supposed to share payments on them. Um, we did pay off my engagement ring. I paid half. He paid half. He made a total of... Who has them? He has his wedding ring and I have my wedding bands. And you've only paid for what? I paid them off. Both? Yes. The total amount? No, not the total amount. He what made What are you saying? You don't pay payments. anything off unless you pay the total. Oh. What is the total you've paid, okay. ma'am? Let me... I paid... Oh. All right, I sir. Don't know. I don't have that. <laughs> what do you want to tell me about the lot rent? I have documents from the company that shows number one, I was never supposed to pay the lot rent because she actually even had a direct deposit set up. Or Let's not, see it, please. Not deposit, but a direct. Uh, I did that so we get a Let's discount. Let's see it, please. I do have a breakdown of what the lot rent is right here, and it also shows that part of that lot rent includes a pet, which is hers. So I shouldn't have to pay that, I would think, but whatever. We're going on what was discussed and agreed to. Right. This is the only thing I have that can even remotely, I'm not sure. And so you say it. she was to pay all of the... Lot rent, which that will also indicate the one that he just handed to you, not that one, but the other one. And that shows where Why she set it up. Why don't you read to me? Okay. So she set don't... it up. You to... read it to me. All right. It says, dear resident, your bank has returned the ACH payment, and it's to Sabrina Alt. Uh, usually everything is to both of us. It has both our names usually, but this is to her. We have determined your direct payment option as of today's date, terminated it. 
we've terminated it. Going forward, you will need to send in your rent payments by mail. So what it was is, yeah, she had it set up to pay the lot rent. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Do you want that? Okay. But I did that because we got a discount, and he rarely had a job, and I was. You the have your jewelry ready, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to conclude that you can get your money back, five thousand dollars, and you're able to keep the um, the uh, mobile home. That's my judgment. Have Thank a good you, day. Your, your claim is dismissed. I don't. I'm not convinced of your claim. You haven't proven it. That's all. Have a good day. I want my dog back. You know, you get the house, you wanted the house, you got the house. I want my dog. I'm gonna get my dog. He's not your dog. You're not getting your dog. He That's is. Not He's even a about service her. animal. I'm his handler. Whatever. Are... I'm just glad you're Please. off the title and I'm glad I get it's the house. over. Closure. And yes. Thank, thank you. you. Please get out of my life. I'm out. I've been out. I'm married. Cool. Come on. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, I'm out.